One more question from photoelectric effect and that says following results are observed when sodium metal is irradiated with different wavelengths. Fascinating. Calculate the threshold wavelength and oh my god the Planck's constant. Actually this is also how Planck's constant was experimentally estimated. And what is it? I am given incident radiation wavelengths and I am also given the uh, kinetic energies of ejected uh, photoelectrons. Well, how to do this? Ke max, we know that. Ke max, which is half mv square. This is hc by lambda minus hc by lambda naught. Fine. What do I know? I am given velocity v, I am given lambda. I am not given lambda naught, of course. I am not given h. I can shamelessly assume c, I believe. Velocity of light and even mass of electron for that matter are known things. I just substitute, I get equations. As a matter of fact, I will get three equations because I have given three data. I could use just two and solve them. Or even better, if you are willing to find out mass of electron as a variable, you could actually use that also here. You have three equations, three unknowns, solve them. Whichever way you feel happy. I'm, I have no intentions of going unnecessarily long. Mass of electron and velocity of light, I'm going to assume. Just any of these two data you can substitute, solve and get the answer. Like, please note, nanometers, this is the wavelength. And when you are given V into 10 minus 5 is so many. That means, I'll just give you this example. That means, it means... V is equal to 5.35 into 10 is to 5 centimeters per second or 5.35 into 10 is to 3 meters per second. This is how you should calculate the velocity. Okay. I have the velocity. I have lambdas. I'll just substitute in one case and show you. Half into M. Now I could just divide by C, right? The mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 is to minus 31 kg. And velocity of light is 3 lakh kilometers per second. Fine. V square. V square is 5.35 into 10 is to 3. The whole squares. Meters per second, of course. Meters square per second square. No doubt. Now... <clears throat> So 1 meter per second will cancel from here. 1 by lambda minus 1 by lambda naught. This is h. 1 by lambda. This is 400. Minus 1 by lambda naught. Which is threshold wavelength. I can calculate all this ugly number. Yes. I have one equation. Lambda naught. Lambda 1 naught. Like this. Right. Please note, I could also do a similar calculation. I can have the same thing, half into 9.1 into 10 is to minus 31 upon 3 into 10 is to 8, ugly numbers. I could have second velocity. This is 4.35 into 10 is to 3 meters per second, which is h. Now I'm using this 1 by 450 minus 1 by lambda 2 naught. As a matter of fact, there is no lambda 1 naught or 2 naught. Why? Uh, this is just sodium metal always. The threshold frequency doesn't change. Velocity changes with incident radiation, which is anyway changing. I have two loving equations and I have two lovely unknowns. Can I not solve them? Yes, I can. And the moment I do, well, I get the answer. I get answer for both Planck's constant h and threshold frequency lambda. What does that come out to be? Threshold wavelength comes out to be 531 nanometers. Planck's constant is our good old 6.6 into 10 minus 34 joule second.